In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can create this colorful lighting effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Drool here and as you can see this is the final output. Now for this tutorial, I'm gonna use this photo that I found on deventart.com and if you want to use the same photo, the download link is in video description so feel free to use it. And just letting you know that if you want to apply the same effect on a photo without a globe, just floating hands, you can still do it. It works pretty good, just letting you know. So now let's go back and look at the final output once more. So this is the final output and this is the original photo. Uh, you can go to file menu and open any image you like. Now first thing we will do as always is double click here and unlock the background. Then we will select the crop tool from here and then I'm gonna remove this portion from here so it looks better in proposition and we will remove the watermark uh, and a little bit on the top so that looks good then you can go and confirm it so now it looks better now the image is very bright for lighting effects so I'm gonna make it darker and to do that you go to your adjustment layer and you select curves and in the curves you go and click on the middle point and you make it darker uh, I think this is enough dark uh, yeah that's that, that's looking really good and close it now I don't want the darkness on her face and a little bit on her body here and on her arms so to remove that uh, select your brush tool here uh, and make sure your opacity is 100% and your color is black and select your layer mask here and then I'm gonna go and remove it from her face and a little bit from her body and also make sure your hardness is 0% uh, so you have really soft brush uh, so remove it from here and there uh, just like that and now we have painted outside a little bit uh, so I'm gonna go and change the color to white uh, and I will paint it back so it doesn't look very bad uh, so let's turn it on and off now uh, so that is looking pretty decent to be honest Now we have made it enough dark and it's time to make it a little bit bright on the face and hands So to do that again go to your adjustment layer and the same select curves But this time I will make it brighter a little bit uh, something like that uh, That's more than enough. I guess uh, Yeah, that looks good now I don't want on the outside, I only want on her face. So just like uh, I have selected my mask and black color will remove. Uh, so I'm gonna go and select my black color and I will remove it from the outside. But may, uh, And I'm also using like my bracket keys to make it bigger uh, and smaller. It saves a lot of time, nothing else. And as always my brush is really soft. Uh, so that is looking really good. So now if we turn it on and off, uh, only the body uh, is bright. So the setup is ready and now we can start working on the lighting effect. And the first thing I want to create is the lightning. So to do that, you go here and you create a new blank layer from here. And then you go to filter, uh, where is it, render. And there first thing you can select is cloud. Once your cloud is ready, then you again go to filter, uh, you go to render. And this time you click on difference clouds. So you will have a pattern something like this. Now I only want this effect on the globe. So I'm gonna go and reduce the opacity to somewhere around like 50% so we can see the rest of the area. Then I'm gonna select my eraser tool and make sure it's 0% hard. And then I will remove it from the unnecessary area where I don't need it. After that, make sure you have selected your layer, the one with the lightning. Then you press Ctrl I. So we have colors inverted and then you go to image, adjustment and you go to levels. And here you go and push your levels on this side. As you can see, uh, like this. Uh, the mid tone should be near to your uh, right side. So that is looking decent. Uh, now I'm gonna go and hit OK. Now we can see that we forgot to erase it from some area, so I will just patch it up. Now as you can see the lightning is looking really good, but we can go and change the blending mode to lighten, so it blends even better with the glow. 
so it's looking good and now you have to make a copy of it so you go and press ctrl j so we have a copy of it and then you press ctrl t uh, and you can rotate it uh, just like this from the corner and i'm gonna put it here uh, like this and i'm also gonna make it smaller so hold your shift key and make it smaller like this uh, and then put it here somewhere around this confirm it from here and this time uh, I'm gonna Keep its opacity to 34, but the original layer that we created the bigger one I'm gonna go and increase its opacity to somewhere around. Let's say 100% uh, yeah, that looks good or maybe somewhere around 85 86% yeah, so 80% looks nice so the original layer is at 80% opacity and the copy we created uh, that is a 34% so it gives it little bit depth nothing else so now the lightning is ready and we can add in the glow so to do that go and create a new blank layer from here uh, select your paint bucket tool right click here and select paint bucket and make sure your color here is black and I'm gonna go and fill it after that go to filter uh, render and go and select a lens flare now first lens flare is going to be 105 mm prime uh, and I'm gonna put it somewhere around here or you can also go with 35 mm whatever you like so let's try 35 for the tutorial uh, so this one looks better uh, hit ok now go and change its blending mode to screen then I will press ctrl T and I'm gonna move it here like this and then uh, again I'm gonna hold my shift key and make it a bit smaller because I don't want it to be outside too much uh, a little bit more smaller so that is looking really good uh, then I'm gonna go and confirm it after that you go to filter blur and go to Gaussian blur and give it enough blur so outside edges are really soft and fading good uh, so somewhere around uh, yeah 40% looks really nice and I'm gonna go and hit OK after that you do the same process you go and create a new blank layer from here bucket tool black color fill it and then you go to filter uh, render uh, lens flare and this time we select movie prime because it has really funky details that look really good and also increase the brightness because the default one is low uh, so I think 150 around is good hit OK then again change the blending mode to screen press ctrl T so we have the transform option and we go and put it here now it is obviously really large so I'm gonna press uh, I'm gonna hold my shift key and I will make it smaller from here uh, and then put it here a little bit more and then go and confirm it so as you can see the glow is already looking really nice now after this I think my background is not dark enough so I'm gonna select my dark layer as you can see here I will double click here and I will make it a little bit more darker uh, so I think uh, that uh, looks even better and close it so now we can continue the effect now it's time to add in some color in our lens flare so to do that I'm gonna go and create a new adjustment layer and I will select hue saturation and the first thing I will do is turn on the clipping mask so now this hue saturation will only affect the layer 3 uh, then I'm gonna go and change its color to somewhere around that I want and increase the saturation so whatever color is your favorite uh, you go and select it uh, just simple as that uh, so I think uh, magenta is my favorite one so I'm gonna go and select that one uh, and then go and close it you can also increase the lightness a little bit but then you will have to remove the outside area so let's say if you remove the lightness you like that part okay uh, so you go and close it then you simply take the eraser make it bigger and then I'm gonna go oops <laughs> select my this layer uh, and then I'm gonna go and remove it see it's simple as that so you can increase the lightness just if you like it uh, not a big deal and I think my glow is a bit bigger so I'm gonna make it smaller so press ctrl T hold your shift key uh, and make it a touch smaller oops uh, and I'm gonna move it here and confirm it perfect now let's continue on the effect so I'm gonna go and create a new adjustment layer and select levels and make sure my levels in top of everything and then I'm gonna go and make it a bit more contrasty just like this 
Now I'm only focusing on my globe. I will remove it from the rest of the image. I only want this on my globe. So I'm going to make it a bit more contrasty. Yeah, so that looks really nice. Go ahead and close it. And just like every time, uh, select your brush tool. Uh, make sure color is black, opacity 100% make your brush bigger and I will remove it from the unnecessary area uh, like that so if we turn it on and off as you can see it gives it really nice contrast now it's time to create the lighting rays uh, and to do that first thing you do is you go and create a new blank layer from here like that then you select your gradient tool you right click here and you select gradient go and select your gradient and here in the gradient type instead of solid you select noise so you will have this really funny looking gradient after that you can click on randomize and wait for the color that you like uh, so for me i like the little bit shade of magenta here and the yellow is going really good uh, so i'm gonna go and keep this one and then i'm gonna go and hit ok after that here on the gradient style make sure you have selected this third one that is important after that you click here and you drag it so you have your lightning rays sort of if we will make it lightning rays don't worry and then uh, you can go and reduce the opacity to see have an idea like what kind of it looks if you are not happy you can go back uh, randomize it change it however I'm gonna keep it so go and hit ok now we will apply a layer mask so go and click on this third option here so we have a layer mask now make sure that you have selected your layer mask here uh, and again we have this gradient here and in the gradient this time you go and select your simple gradient this one foreground to background uh, and to make sure you have this one you make sure your color are here black and white so we have foreground to background hit ok and after that you also have to make sure that in your gradient style you have this second one as you can see here this and then also make sure you have selected your layer mask and then you go and you drag it a little bit like this now something if something like this happens your gradient is inverted so you click on this reverse option uh, and then you again do it see now this time it's working properly so I'm gonna go and try it one more time uh, until I get the output that I like So this is looking really good and now I can go and make the opacity to 100% and then go and change its blending mode to lighten. So it has started looking really good but we can make it better and to do that you double click on your layer here so you will have this blending options and here uh, you have to hold down your alt key and you drag this slider to here. Don't forget to hold alt key okay otherwise it will look weird. Uh, so I'm gonna drag it this way here and again hold your alt key and I'm gonna drag this slider to here so we can eliminate uh, as many uh, shapes as possible and we can keep it simple uh, so I think uh, this one is looking really good and then go and hit ok now it's looking a little weird because we don't have any color correction so to do that you go to your adjustment layer and first thing we will do is select the curves and in the curves just like every time my favorite you click a dot here like this you make it slightly darker not too much and then you drag this slider upwards here uh, so not too much okay uh, keep it a little bit contrasty so that's looking good now here comes the part it depends on your effect if you have more red color in your effect you go to red and then you increase your red a little bit okay uh, so that's good now secondary color we have a little bit of magenta so I'm gonna go to my green and I will add a little bit of magenta uh, so that is looking good and we also have slight tint of blue so I'm gonna go to my blues uh, and I'm gonna add a little bit of blue but not too much okay be careful and close it after that another adjustment layer so you go to here you go to adjustment layers and select color balance and just like the last time what do we have majority we have red uh, so in the mid tones I will add a little bit of red but make sure it's not too much okay uh, so I think plus six then in the highlights a little bit of magenta uh, and a little bit of red and then you can go to your shadows and here I'm gonna add a little bit of blue so we have better contrast nothing else 
uh, so this is looking good and make sure this thing is checked otherwise it looks a bit dull uh, this is better and I'm gonna go and close it so the final effect is almost ready uh, but we have to uh, make the edges a little bit darker so we can focus on model better so go ahead uh, go to your adjustment layer and this time I'm gonna go and select where is it here gradient and in the gradient uh, make sure you have foreground to transparent and your foreground color is black uh, I'm gonna go and hit ok uh, and in the style make it radial uh, and go and reverse it so we have edges darker increase the scaling a little bit uh, somewhere around to 200 250 should be good hit ok change the blending mode to soft light now I don't want it on entire image right so again I'm gonna select my brush tool uh, black color opacity 100% and select your layer mask here and I will make my brush a bit bigger using bracket keys and I will remove it from the areas where I don't want it so now if I turn it on and off we only have it on the edges I might paint it a little bit here though Now the final effect is ready but here's one funny thing you can do. You see your light rays? If you don't like the colors, don't worry. Go and create a new adjustment layer and select hue saturation. But you have to make sure that your hue saturation is on top of your rays, right? Exactly on top. And you go and turn on the clipping mask. So now it will only affect your layer 4. Now go and change your hue and you have unlimited colors. Use whatever the heck color you like. So see, this is looking pretty cool. <laughs> And after that all you have to do is just go and do the adjustment in your color balance, add a bit of a cyan and green and boom. There you have a completely different effect. Isn't that awesome? That's why I love the adjustment layers. So that's it and this is the final output. And the awesome thing about this effect is that you can do it 100% inside Photoshop. You don't have to download any brushes or plugins which is awesome. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did, hit that like button. And if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.